Kiwi gang. Today we are doing meat nutrient density tier list part one. Today I'm going to be doing this first row. If you enjoy this, make sure to subscribe, comment, and like, and I will do a part two. Let's go. First, we have chicken breast. Now, chicken breast is extremely overrated. So many people think that chicken breast is the epitome of health. Yes, it's a good source of lean protein, but there are plenty of other meats that are lean proteins that are just way more nutrient dense than chicken breast. It's a good source of B3 and B6, but it's very low in B12, which is the most important B vitamin, which a lot of other meats do have. It's not a good source of choline. On the mineral side, all you're really getting is phosphorus and selenium. Pretty much all meats have a ton of phosphorus and selenium. Those nutrients aren't very hard to get through food. There's not many deficiencies. They're not that unique. It's not high in iron or zinc, two other much more important nutrients that a lot of other meats have. Once again, I love chicken breast. It's great. It's a great source of lean protein, but it's just not that nutrient dense in the context of other meats. The protein does save it, but it's going in the C tier. Next, we have a chicken thigh. Now, I think chicken thighs are a little bit underrated. On the vitamin side, it has much higher levels of B12 than chicken breast, and B12 is the most important B vitamin. On the mineral side, it's still got that phosphorus and selenium that you're getting from the breast, but it also has zinc and iron, which are much more important nutrients. Those are nutrients that much more people are deficient in, much less abundant in food. Yes, it's slightly fattier than chicken breast, but it's still pretty lean. And it's also just way more palatable than chicken breast. It tastes way better. It's way easier to eat consistently. People like it more. Chicken thighs are going in the B tier. Next, we have bacon. Now, this one really pains me. It pains me to do this because I love bacon. Bacon is so good. I get that thick cut steakhouse bacon from Whole Foods. It's the best thing ever. I eat it with my eggs. I eat it with my beef. But unfortunately, bacon just isn't nutrient dense at all. The only nutrient you're really getting from bacon is sodium. It's very fatty. It's not a great source of protein. Almost all bacon that you buy at the store is going to be feedlot. I eat bacon all the time. I love bacon. This is hard for me to do. It's really tough. But in the context of other meats, bacon is D tier. Next, we have canned tuna. Now, nutritionally, canned tuna is a lot different from fresh tuna. The canning process removes most of the omega-3s and vitamin A. Also, the meat that they use for tuna is typically scraps. They use older fish, lower quality parts of the fish. With that said, still a great source of lean protein, B12, B3, vitamin D, selenium. It's very affordable, convenient. It's easy. It also has less mercury than fresh tuna. Canned tuna is great. This is going to go in the A tier. Next, we have fresh tuna. Now, fresh tuna is very lean overall. It's a great source of protein, but it's still got a solid amount of fat, a good amount of which is coming from omega-3s, which are one of the most important nutrients for humans, one of the healthiest fatty acids. It's great for your brain in terms of vitamins. Great source of B vitamins, extremely high in vitamin B12. It's a good source of choline, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. For minerals, it's a great source of magnesium, iron, phosphorus, selenium. Unfortunately, however, tunas are gigantic fishes. They're huge. And bigger fish tend to be higher in mercury. So unfortunately, tuna is very high in mercury. And that's the only thing that's keeping it out of the S tier. We got to put this in the A tier. Next, we got ground beef. Ground beef is a great source of B12, great source of B6, B3, choline. On the mineral side, this is one of the best sources of zinc and iron. And zinc and iron are two incredibly important nutrients, things that a lot of people are deficient in. It's also got a good amount of potassium and magnesium. But what makes ground beef so special is the leaner the cut, the more nutrient dense it is. So 93% lean beef is more nutrient dense than 80% lean beef. And that does not apply to all meats. With chicken, the fattier the cut of the meat, the more nutrient dense it is. Chicken thigh is more nutrient dense than chicken breast. So with chicken, you need to sacrifice protein for nutrient density. With ground beef, you get the best of both worlds. 
Ground beef is amazing. It's got so much aura. It tastes amazing. You can eat it so many ways. Ground beef is going in the S tier. Next, we got eggs. Now, if you follow me, you know exactly how I feel about eggs. This is one of the most special foods on the planet. Loaded with B vitamins, great source of B2, B5, B12. It's the best source of choline, which is one of the most important nutrients for your brain. It's got vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, phosphorus, selenium. If you eat the shells, you get calcium. It's cheap. It's easy to make. There's so many different ways you can prepare them, but you got to have six of them. You can't be doing that whole one egg, two egg BS nonsense. Got to have six eggs. Eggs, absolute no brainer. These are going in the S tier. Next, we have bologna. Bologna is bologna. It's basically pork trimmings, mechanically separated chicken and turkey, sugar, water, salt, starch, fillers, emulsifiers. It's extremely fatty. A four ounce serving will give you 13 grams of protein, 33 grams of fat for a total of 381 calories. It's basically just pure fat. Nutritionally, it's not high in any nutrients besides sodium. Bologna is going straight into the F tier. Next, we have a beef liver. Now, obviously, beef liver tastes horrible, but we all know it is one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. It's extremely rich in B vitamins, especially B12. It's a good source of choline, folate, extremely rich in vitamin A, extremely rich in copper, great source of zinc, iron, phosphorus, and selenium. It's also a good source of protein. You do need to be careful though, because it's so rich, as I alluded to earlier, in vitamin A and copper, that eating too much of it could lead to toxicity in those nutrients. That's why I typically don't see people eating like a whole pound of liver, you know, just a few ounces here and there. Still, you already know what it is. Beef liver is going in the S tier. Next, we have salmon. Salmon is an absolute superfood. It's one of the best sources of omega-3 fatty acids on the planet, but it's still very lean and still a good source of protein. On the vitamin side, it's an amazing source of B12. It's a great source of all B vitamins. If you eat half a pound of salmon, you're getting more than half of the RDI for all of the B vitamins. It's a good source of choline, vitamin A, vitamin E. It's a great source of vitamin D. It's one of the only foods that's actually going to give you a significant amount of vitamin D. For minerals, it's got phosphorus, selenium, magnesium, potassium. It's giving you everything. It tastes amazing. It's got so much aura. You know, salmon comes out of the oven. It's got that juicy, flaky skin. It's so good. Salmon is going in the S tier. Next, we have ground pork. Now, ground pork is extremely fatty and it's pork fat. So, you know, it's not the healthiest fat. Technically, it's a solid source of B vitamin, zinc, and iron. But in order to get any significant amount of those nutrients, you would need to eat so many calories that the nutrient to calorie ratio is horrible. Ground pork is going in the D tier. Next, we have pork chops. Now, pork chops are much leaner than most pork cuts. It's not super nutrient dense. It's a decent source of zinc, phosphorus, selenium. However, it is an incredible source of vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 is one of the hardest nutrients to get through food, and it's actually one of the most important B vitamins. You cannot metabolize carbs into usable energy without B1. And a four ounce serving of pork chops will give you almost your entire RDI for B1, which is great. But with that said, still only gonna go in the C tier. Next, we have turkey breast. With turkey breast, the only nutrients you're really getting are B3, phosphorus, and selenium. There's not much B12, not much zinc, not much iron. It's really just not nutrient dense. It is a great source of lean protein, which saves it here. It's going to go in the C tier. Next, we have hot dogs. Hot dogs are garbage. It's basically just pure fat, barely any protein at all. No micronutrients at all besides sodium, of course. It's made from scraps. F tier. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and I'll do a part two. Kiwi gang, we out.